lot of speculation over the last week and a half over what the situation Roman Reigns is. Uh, it was reported that Roman will be taking time off in the summer. Uh, that was the initial report. It was also reported that, and by the way, I don't want to, I don't know. I, I got to go down in my notes because the story that Dave reported kind of morphed into more than it was uh, with like, you know, the, the constant discussion online. So essentially Dave came on and he can kind of explained it as well uh, over the last couple of days. And, and I spoke to someone at WWE that would, you know, gave me an official statement on this. So I'm going to, yeah, and I posted it, but pretty much Roman got a new deal. He's going to be doing less days uh, overall, right? He's not going to be doing every house show. He's going to be on select house shows. Uh, he's going to be on most TVs, majority of TV. He's going to be on majority of the, the pay-per-views, but there will be times that he's not on every show. Listen, that's just how every world, every solidified world champion has always been that. You know, now he's in a different phase. Like he said, that Trenton, New Jersey comment had more to do with localized in Trenton and not to do with like, hey, I'm going to be off TV for a while. It was more like, hey, I don't know when the next time I'll be at a house show like this is. But thank you. Um, I, I Listen, you, it's fine. I don't think there's a problem with this. I don't think uh, he's going to be off TV for significant weeks at a time. That's not what WWE said to me. They said he's off that Hell in a Cell pay-per-view for sure. He's not on that one. But do, maybe because they don't have the opponent, they don't need him. They're setting it up. He'll be on the stadium shows. He'll be in Cardiff. He'll be at Money in the Bank. He'll be at SummerSlam, which are the next ones. So that's not that's not affected. He There's a Saudi show coming up end of September, October. I'm sure he's going to be on that. So th this, this speculation that Roman is going to be off TV for, you know, four weeks or 10 weeks or whatever, whatever the speculation was, six weeks, that's not happening. But, you know, he's a big deal act and something that was said to me, and I'm not putting numbers, right? What's better for you, right? Let's say, Ryan, you're making, let's say you're making $10 million a year, right? My and God. your I last, <laughs> I know, in your last contract, you were making $5 million. Again, this is, these aren't Roman's numbers. Just throwing it out there. Instead of getting $15 million, right? Like, what's the difference between 10 and 15? At that point of, of money coming in, it, it makes no difference. So maybe you'll take $12 million with way less dates. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, he's, he's about our age, right? Late 30s. 30, so, yeah, late 30s. 30s. I just turned 38. Oh. My birthday was Friday. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so we're, exa we're I'm exactly it. the same age. We're exactly yeah. the same age. There you go. So yeah. uh, 36. Yeah, he's thinking sense, about though. himself. Yeah. You got young kids. If you can get the time off, why wouldn't you do this? I and mean, like he said, this is not unprecedented with wrestling history. We know that, you know, back in the day with WCW, Hulk Hogan had quite the deal around 1997 where he would vanish, you know, go film some movies for Turner. Uh, we know that, you know, obviously you mentioned Brock Lesnar. There was a period, we just talked about this on Top Rope Nation this week, where Lesnar, I think he went six months as champion and only defended the belt once. I think it was late 14 into early 15. Yeah, but they so, had a second title but, belt at that point, right? Like yeah. that goes right into it. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Roman has the titles. Um, there was that there was that story that came out in January. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, right after WrestleMania that, they don't really have a lot of opponents set up for him, right? Listen, I, I think if you if you are pulling Roman back from house shows and you're pulling Roman back from, you know, you're making him more of a special attraction, which I think he is a special attract attraction at this point, and he has been for a while with this gimmick, but I don't see him doing a Lesnar. This is not a Lesnar deal at all, like whatsoever. Unless something changes totally. this I was specifically told this is not like a Lesnar deal where he's doing like 20 days and that's it or 20. He's still full time. He's just not going to he's just not going to do smaller house shows and he may take time off every now and then. But nothing extended. There's no extended leave happening. It's not like a John Cena disappearing for a couple months. Or like you said, Roman Reigns disappearing for a couple months uh, uh, Brock Lesnar. But, you know, with that said. You know, missing TV here, missing house shows there. Is this a negative for WWE, in your opinion? I think that their audience has gotten down to a size, you know, obviously still very profitable, where it feels like the brand draws. I think that they're going to do similar attendance and similar television numbers, regardless if Roman's there or not. 
It I agree with you. It just kind of seems like they've, they've hit that yeah. level. Well, you know, now they've done, they now realize, and this may force them to do this, they have to create another star. This booking of, you mentioned that those three, four stadium shows in a row, I mean, this is going to be a really, really interesting summer, not just for, I mean, WWE and AEW, but you look at what are they going to do at Money in the Bank? You know, who's challenging at SummerSlam? Then you got that big show at the UK. We know that uh, Drew has been talking about doing stuff with Tyson Fury. You got Roman as the champion. Cody is that ascendant new star that you want to capitalize on. I mean, to me, you look at that Money in the Bank show, makes a lot of sense for Cody Rhodes to win Money in the Bank. Well, yeah. Potentially it, challenge at SummerSlam. Or 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 actually, you, you saw that you saw that commercial for Money in the Bank, right? Where which yeah. started this whole speculation as to the rule change possibly happening. In that commercial, and I and I recommend you guys check it out, they're you know, they're talking about money in the bank, and Cody says something along the terms of um it gives you an opportunity to headline WrestleMania, right? Money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Now, is he talking about, is that the new rule change where if you win money in the bank, you become the number one contender for the title of WrestleMania? Or is he saying that this would be what he would want to do, right? Or, I mean, the reality is, yeah, it's always been what he says. There's nothing different with what Cody said, because if you do cash, if you do get money in the bank, you have two opportunities to headline WrestleMania. One, as the champion going into it, or two, as someone that challenges with the money in the bank. So there's really no, like, this isn't like a big revelation. It's always been possible, right? Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. this is more, now it's like, well, there's a lot of gray here. When I asked people, they said they don't know. Nobody, nobody knew of any kind of rule change. And a couple of the conversations were like, maybe this is just Cody's line. Because somebody wrote it for him. Yeah. No, I, it's going to be really interesting if Cody wins it because I very firmly want to see him do it where he declares ahead of time he's challenging for the title. Whether that's WrestleMania, I hope they don't wait that long. <laughs> him and Dwayne. It's him and Dwayne at Mania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, there's there's such a compelling argument that Cody should be the guy to beat Roman to establish another top star because he's so hot right now. And how long can you wait to do that? Roman's run through pretty much everybody on the roster. Like you said, he doesn't have a lot of challengers right now that are believable. Cody is a guy who right now has been protected. I mean, we get a whole nother discussion going about Hell in a Cell and the Rollins feud, but I mean, you got to protect this guy. He would be believable defeating him for the title, and then it would firmly establish him as a main event player moving forward if he's the guy to topple Roman Reigns. But I, d I don't want to see him do the cheap victory thing that we've seen so many times, it pretty much as a heel gimmick, to cash in after somebody's wrestled a grueling match and yeah. win the title that way. I want to see him declare in advance, we're doing this at SummerSlam, you know, kind of in the same way that RVD did with One Night Stand or, you know, that we saw Big E do. Like, that's the kind of thing that, you know, I, I want the challenge laid out. It looks like the babyface thing to do. You pop the numbers for it and... Yeah, if you're asking should me, he be the I guy? Cody runs the. I I think so personally. No, I do. Well, uh, let me let me. Should the match be at WrestleMania with him and Roman? Because uh, or who does Roman drop the title to? You know, before would, that or I, after yeah. that. You know, like that. There's yeah. a lot of uncertainty because there's also the Rock. That's the big mix for LA. You know, if they're ever mm -hmm. going to do it, this is the year. Los Angeles, big movie star Roman, uh, Dwayne. You know, night two of WrestleMania. I mean, what gets bigger than that? Yeah. 